Yes, I would imagine that the 62 kilo lifters would be training sort of between two and four kilos overweight. So, you know, it's not as if he was even 62 kilos. <laughs> so you, you can imagine. And, uh, that, you know, that kind of weight loss has is, is got to... Yeah, well, that's interesting. You see, 149 kilos, Igor Boer. So he could have, you know, on the, on the basis of that, they could have gone to 149 and bought a bit more time. Mm. Yeah, they should have either let the clock run out on the second lift or, or, or up the weight to 149. Bit of poor coaching, probably a poor decision actually to come down to 56 kilos. Well, I suppose there's a sort of assessment of looking at the entry list and who's there. And, you know, we've seen quite a few lifters, you know, move between 56 and 62 over the years. So it's, it's, it's not something that's unreasonable to do, but it's a question of the assessment, isn't it? And you, you look who's there and you, look, you have to look very realistically and say, well, if we do come down, you know, do we seriously think we can be competitive in this? And again, it's as we were talking yesterday about controlling what you can control, which is yourself. You know, so it's fine saying, well, I'll come down because I think we've got a better chance. The question is, is whether you can actually deliver. First of the Koreans. This is Ri Kyung Suk, 122 kilos to carry four. So this will be for 272. And it would be the lead. Good clean. No problem. He's had a good run, hasn't he, this man? Three good snatches. Yep. Well, I wonder if uh, if they're going to give him that. Lee, just relax there and lean back. I wonder if he's injured his back. To well, the one against. The one against. Mm, so Let's have a look at it. They're a little bit... Uh, Well, I'd like to see that again. Now, this is the one time when you want the slow motion. And what do you make of that? Well, he relaxed and uh, yeah. you need it from the side, but but pushed him back. I mean, I think he'll be all right, and I think he'll come out, and I think mm. he'll, and I think he'll do it. It's that thing, you know, the lift's not finished until the weight's back on the floor, and he's yeah. holding above his head. It was a pretty com he got it there pretty comfortably. Relax for a split second. Yeah, you can't relax when it's 150 <laughs> kilos above your head just a question of focus really Cuba yes now he's normally better in this in this phase didn't do very well in the snatch only managed 118 and and fell twice with that 124 which which really kind of left him out of it a little bit very comfortable though yeah. and very solid so 268. 268. He's certainly more comfortable with the clean and jerk. So now. Yeah, Korean, who we both believe the hard done by Korean. Yeah, should have uh, should have had the gold in the snatch. Was robbed. I'm sure this is to make sure the total first off. A bit quicker with the down signal this time. 278 leader. That's his total. Yeah, it must be so frustrating for him, you know, going back into the uh, warm-up room, feeling as if, uh, you know, he should have had the gold medal and he's got the silver. It's very difficult. To, you know, it must be quite hard to focus on on, on the, the next job, if you. Know. Well, that's what the coaches have got to be on, you know, to to really say, right, let's do as much damage as we can in the clean and jerk. So this is a five kilo increase, 150, which is essentially, if you remember, David, what I proposed. Mm. Yeah, he wasn't that convincing on the, uh, on no. the 45. 
You see, he's actually been struggling all day, hasn't he? Yeah, he's I think he's poor, very uh, poor failures on 120, and just managed to get it in on the uh, on the last lift. So now just trying to salvage the total a little with uh, 150, but definitely not on top form. Oof. Come on, you can do that. Drive up. It's very amazing. deep. It's amazing. He's if he stands up from that, he deserves that lift. Come on. Come on. Come on. He's oh. the, uh, the split was too wide there. He just couldn't do the drive. See the effort, though, I mean, to hold mm. it in that position. And you've got to give it to him. He might not be in top form, but he's certainly, he's certainly giving it his all. But if you actually look at the, 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 the position of his feet, the width between the feet, well, when, when this goes wrong, it's Very everything's against him, really. I mean, he's past the, the thing, he's past the middle point. You thought uh, the hard point is that is that sort of parallel point, usually. Well, now, uh, Ri Yong Sok for 150 kilos for a second time. Yes, you remember he lifted it very, very easy on the first attempt and then uh, relaxed. relaxed and perhaps put it down slightly before the down signal. Let's see it through now. There he gets the down signal. There's nothing wrong with that. Is it just a little bit longer that time, just to yeah. make sure. <laughs> so, corrected the mistake. I actually would have given him the first one, to be honest with you. Yeah, two. Se well. 272 he's got. Wu Mei Zhang got uh, 265. Choi, 278. And he's the man who leads the competition at the moment. But quite a few lifts left here. And I wonder where. There's Choi. I wonder where um, Li Zheng is going to come in. Because it'll be interesting to see whether he changes anything here. See, well, we've, still, well, we've still got three athletes to come. Yeah. Junior world champion. Yeah, yeah. Zheng, yeah. Zheng from uh, Vietnam hasn't come in yet either. I mean, quite apart from the two kilo differential at the halfway stage, Zheng would have probably on known form six to seven kilos advantage over the Korean. So that puts it against this man. Yeah, you can see the outside loading waiting, weight system there. Yes, we didn't have that yesterday, did we? Yeah, it was sort of pioneered really by Alaiko. They were the ones who created and designed that. And <laughs> don't know what happens with copyrights and patents these days, but what it does do is it allows the loaders a much uh, to to more efficiently and effectively and quicker, more quickly do their job. Now this is interesting. Li Zhang 153. So again, David, I think this is the Chinese coming in and saying, right, let's get the total, and then we'll think about the... Um, well, which is sensible, yeah. because it's a, it's a points exercise as well, isn't it? Yeah. Well, he's not happy. Turned around, didn't like the bar. Now. <laughs> that we were not expecting. And we assumed it was just an easy opener just to get a, a total, didn't we? Well, it should be an easy opener. 153 for him. Now, nah, Iwabu. Still with a lot to do here to catch up. Has got 267 as a running total, but. Oh dear.
So still wide open. And you, and you actually wonder if, uh, I mean, part of me wants the Korean to win just purely because he was outdone <laughs> yes. in, the, uh, in the stats. And you know, you know, you wonder if uh, if there's going to be some uh, justice. Well, if he were not to get this, David, then but, things... But, but, but the fact he's struggling with this just shows you how crucial that snatch on, on 130 would have been for the Korean. Yeah. It just shows you how important that was. Yeah. Not, not, you know, not just in terms of the gold medal in the snatch, but in the, in the overall. Well, we did say that two kilos could swing it. And if he doesn't get this, I think he will. Oh, but it isn't easy. And he hasn't got it. Well, well, well. So you also, you, sometimes you, you know, you wonder how lifters feel about it. If he knows in his mind that the other guy actually did do the lift, you know, how does he, how does he feel about that? Well, I don't know. I don't, I don't think so, David. Because I think the fact is that, that as I say, this goes back again to controlling and doing what you can do. He did nothing wrong. He did his lift perfectly fine. Uh, he got the 130 kilos, totally legal. It, nothing to do with him. Completely irrelevant, no, I think. I know that from a from from a, from the viewpoint of um, you know. No, he's out there reality. to do it. He's, I'm, just, he's I'm just saying from the viewpoint of, of how you actually feel yourself about somebody. Well, how many times know, somebody actually did it and, and it and it was and it was the referee's decision? You you know, I'd feel a bit bad. I'd yeah, but good about it. the reality is, in times gone by, decisions will have gone against him as well. So mm. you know. Yeah, I'm just thinking in terms of psychologically, though, in terms of the clean of the clean and jerk. Well, I'm thinking more interestingly of where he's going to go. 153 and... Well, he's going to go 153 and then the other guy's got to... If he gets it, the uh, the uh, Korean knows he needs 155 to win, doesn't he? Yeah. Having said that, we can't discount the... Uh, we can't discount the man from... Uh, Vietnam. Vietnam. You can't discount the man from uh, the junior world champion from Indonesia. Mind you, if he doesn't get this, he won't have a total, and that will be a huge shock. The Asian Games champion, Li Zheng, 130, 157 for 287 in Doha last December. And this looked right from the beginning of the day as if it was going to be Chinese championship number two, and this is only the second championship of the 2007 edition. He has to make this. Well, he has, but he's run out of lifts now. And 153 gives him 283. And now all the other lifters know exactly what the target is. Two hundred and eighty-three kilos. Four kilos less than he lifted in the Asian Games to victory. And sometimes the Asian Games take precedence and priority in the minds of the Chinese camp. But this is World Championship qualifying and Olympic quali sorry, Olympic qualifying. So 154 now for the junior world champion, Irawan Eko Yuli. Yes, would of course put him straight into the lead on the clean and jerk. Take him to 278. He was heavier though than Li Zheng. <laughs> yeah, strong overhead. So 278, same kilos as Cha Kum Choi. But Cha Kum Choi has the higher ranking because he's the lighter guy. And still lurking in the wings, David, is uh, Huang of Vietnam, who is second in the world rankings with 157 in the clean and jerk. I just wonder, could this be, could this be a Vietnam day? A Korean day, or, or indeed a Chinese day. 
surely not going to be a Chinese day. If, if it's going to be a Chinese day, then a lot of people are going to have to fail, surely. What's well, well, made is they, they know exactly what they've got to do now within within, within a kilo. So their, their, their attempts will be made, hopefully, accordingly. Clean and jerk, world record at senior level, 168. Junior, 165. Mutlu holds the senior one. Wu Wenyang of China, actually set a long time ago, 2001 in Osaka. Records don't generally hang around for that long. And that's all about putting yourself in the zone. Well, that's interesting. He hasn't come out. No. So, no lift. So they've now t now given him the 154 as his second attempt. Second attempt. So well, we've had no, we've had, had no news. Is he injured or is that, well, we've is that a major cock up in coaching? Well, we've had no news from the back room. And I think he's. Uh, I think he's injured. He's injured himself. And uh, I don't think he's coming out. Oh, well, well there he is. He's coming out. He's obviously hurt his back, and he's uh, opted to come out on 154 for his second. Well, maybe that does put the the man from China, Li Zheng, back into things now. He's not happy, is he? He's really not happy. He's having a conversation. <laughs> so he might end up actually having to take it as his third. What are they doing? Uh, now, don't, that's very interesting, but actually what we need to do is to see the treatment. Perhaps his back's in spasm. Yeah. So now this is a judgment call, isn't it? You want the points, but you actually also want to be... Live to fight another day. So, I mean, this is going to be a, hard, a really difficult psychological lift. Hasn't got too much time left either. 30 seconds. I'd be very surprised if he does this. I mean, the problem with this is that it's going to be snatch and grab. He's just... He's, he's taking his time as well. He's not, yeah, he is. He's, yeah. He's not hurrying. I mean, I'm, I'm not convinced he really wants to... Uh, no, he doesn't want to do this. Do it. No, he doesn't. He doesn't want to do it. They're shouting, quick, quick. I've yeah. just got a feeling he's going to let the time run. Well, the quicker he goes, the more he rushes, the more likely he is to hurt himself again. Shame we couldn't have the clock in. The yeah, he's no, nah. no, nah. it's not there. It's, it's just not there. And I mean, I think they're being stupid. I mean, there are kind of times when you just got to listen to the lifter, yeah. and that's one of them. Do you come out again, or? Well, he's got one more time. One, you know, it's it's it's. So has he got to follow himself, or? Is well, yeah, you know, does anybody want one five five? Otherwise, they might as well have taken another t two minutes, and they could have given themselves four minutes. Now they've committed themselves, I think, to the third attempt. I just, just. Uh, I, <laughs> There's some curious decisions going on here. But Huang, ultimately it's his decision, but you can see he's really, really uncomfortable with this. I think he might just be humouring the, uh, the coaches. The coaches yeah. It's a shame. I mean, it's a real shame. So is he humouring him or is he genuinely going to try? So he's had some cold spray put on there now. Well, let's see. Well, if he does this, I'll be amazed. I'll be amazed, I'll be delighted. Because if he is going to go through with this and really give it a go, and he can only. 
And he hope, David, that he's not going to hurt himself as well any for further. Well, he's having a go. Ooh. Oh, no. No. That's not good. No. That's not good. No. no. They need to be on the stage. Come on. There needs to be people in there just looking after him. They're worried about the bar, but who's looking after the boy? I'm amazed. I think I might be inclined to uh, have a stretcher on there and take him off. I mean, where's where's the where's, where's, where's the, the doc? Doctor? Where's the medical people? You know, I, I mean, one, it's d dangerous for him. Two, it's. Uh, well, I can't believe the coaches are just standing Steve, there. Steve, not one. Steve, yeah. I'm getting a getting a medical person out there and getting somebody on the stage. This bloke's hurt himself. Yeah. Well, I think if I was his coach, I'd uh, I'd be straight off to the hospital. Make sure there isn't something really serious there. The competition goes on. Yeah, he's in, he's in he's in some pain, David. So overall judgment, David, probably foolish. Yeah, should have, should have, should have never, never gone out for the attempt. Now, this really is crucial. Because this is 155 for Cha Kum Choi. Well, this is this is to uh, overtake the uh, the Chinese lifter. It's the exact weight he needs to overtake, and I, and I really would like to see him do it. Yeah, it's going to be a tough call, but I really would like to see him do it. Wow. because I really feel that he was uh, hard done by in that snatch phase lifted 150 in the Asian Games come on 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 fight for it fight for it well if ever there was a dessert yeah that is one of them fantastic we're happier now we are happier so justice in a way has been done yeah oh oh careful Fantastic. And it's being done the right way because he's answered his critics. He's come back here. And as I said, he did lift 150 in the clean and jerk in the Asian Games last December when Li Zheng did 157. So clearly the improvements, you know, coming here. He's 20, he's a year younger than the Chinese lifter. But they've got some reward now, haven't they, as well? So it goes to 283, he's got a lift to 